Hello everyone. You caught me lifting weights, doing some arm exercises. It's a good way to make my arms strong. I wonder what kinds of things you like to do to help your body grow strong. Maybe you like to lift weights. Maybe you like to do sit-ups or go for runs or walks. Or maybe you like to jump, climb trees, do farm work or housework. Maybe you like to go for bike rides or play sports. There's lots of different ways, lots of different things we can do to help our bodies grow strong. But what about your spirit? What kind of spiritual exercises can you do to help your faith grow strong? Well, you think about that, I would like to tell you about King Josiah. Now the story of Josiah, we can find in our Bible in 2 Kings chapter 22. Now, Josiah was only eight years old when he became king, which is pretty young for becoming king. Isaiah, Josiah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and he sought the Lord while he was still young. Josiah also got rid of all the idols in the land. Now, the idols were things that people were worshipping instead of worshipping the one true God. And at that time, the temple had also fallen into terrible disrepair. So Josiah brought in workers to fix the temple. As they were doing their repairs, they found the book of the law, which is um, the scriptures. And in our Bible, it's the first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Well, this, the scriptures had been lost. And when Josiah read them, he found God's commands, and he promised, he renewed the covenant to keep God's commands with all his heart and his soul. And you know, as long as Josiah lived, all the people in the land also kept this covenant and followed God's commands. What can we learn from Josiah? Well, he sought the Lord, he prayed. He got rid of things that dishonored God and distracted people from worshiping him. And he studied the scriptures and kept God's commands. Those are things that we can do too. We can pray, we can worship only God, and we too can study the scriptures and obey God's commands. Those are good ways to exercise our spiritual muscles. I just wanna do a little demonstration to show you what can happen when we exercise our spiritual muscles and grow strong in our faith. I have a little candle here. This is going to represent the light of faith that burns in us when we put our faith and trust in Jesus. Let's get that light going. There it is. Next, I would like to show you this brick. Now this brick represents somebody who's been doing some good spiritual exercises, who's been praying and studying the scripture and following God's commands. They grow nice and strong. And this hairdryer represents winds that blow against us sometimes, things that are hard and will try to blow out the light of our faith. So we've, got, we've built up some good spiritual muscles here. Let's see what happens when we blow again, when we let those winds blow against. The flame did not blow out. Our strong faith kept that, our strong faith muscles kept that faith from getting blown out. But what happens if we get kind of lazy? Maybe we stop praying, we stop reading the scriptures. Maybe our edges get rounded off like this pop bottle. I wonder if those winds are going to sneak around us and blow against that light of faith. Let's see what happens. You could see that light of faith struggling for a bit. 
but then the winds blew it right out. Well, let's get that candle relit because we want our faith to be strong and burn brightly, don't we? So we can pray, we can study the scriptures and worship God. Now in the Bible, in Psalm 119, there are a lot of verses that talk about the importance of God's word. It's actually the longest chapter in our Bible with 176 verses. I picked one of them that could be a memory verse for you this week. It says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Psalm 119, verse 165. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Psalm 119, verse 165. Maybe someone in your family can jot that verse down so that you can work on memorizing it this week. And while they do, let's sing this little light of mine. Mm -hmm. 